One of the reasons why Platform.io is so good is its built-in dependency management system. It's much more flexible than what the Arduino IDE offers. In a nutshell, you can use any Arduino compatible library and define them as a dependency for your project. Then, once you hit compile, Platform.io will download the correct versions and get your project compiled. To start using libraries, head over to Platform.io and click on Libraries. Here you can explore all the available libraries. Now imagine that you want to use a DHT temperature sensor in your project. Instead of writing code to interface with the sensor, you can just search for DHT and use one of the pre-made libraries. The first one here even has support for DHT11 and DHT22. You can also see that it's been downloaded over 40,000 times. Now, when you click on it, you can see some more details. You can see code examples on how you have to use the library. You can see installation instructions, headers, a manifest, and the changelog of the library. Now, let's say that you want to use this particular library. One way you could do that is by clicking this install button right here. The problem, however, is that this button installs the library globally. Instead, what you want to do is define it as a dependency of your project. To do that, head over to the installation tab and in here you will find the unique name and ID of the library. In this case, the name is DHT sensor library and the ID is the number 19. Now that you know this, you can add it to your platformio.ini file just like they show you here. So let me go to my files. Let's open up platformio.ini and let's add a new section called libdeps. And in here, you can list all of the dependencies of your project. So if you want to use this DHT sensor library, you type in its name, DHT sensor library. Or you could also type in its unique ID. In this case, it was the number 19. Now I will settle for just the name. Now, don't forget to save the file and let's now compile our project. And as you can see, this compiles like any other project we've compiled before, only this time Platform.io has downloaded the library that we've requested. And you can see that right here. So if I now go into the .pyio folder and I go under libdeps, you can see that it has downloaded the DHT sensor library, but it has also downloaded the dependencies of this library. For instance, the unified sensor library is a dependency of this DHT sensor library. Now this was all downloaded by the library manager and it's being kept up to date automatically. Pretty cool, right? But what if you don't want automatic updates? Or what if you want to use a specific older version of a library? Well, you can do that as well. If I go back to the Platform.io home, you can see that here in the installation instruction, they also show you how you can do version pinning. By using the add symbol, you can define exactly which version of a library you want to use. Or you can say, use any version higher or lower than this particular one. It's pretty powerful. Now I will use the library manager throughout this series, so definitely check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.